I love you. I love you too. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's Amber, right? Don't sit on the ground. Here, take my seat. No, no, it's yours. Oh, take it. I'm all right. Just take the damn seat, all right? Mom, I met the guy I'm gonna marry. No, 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 no. We're just going on our first date tonight. But I just have that feeling. Thanks for coming out. Have a good night. Well, that's a pretty funny show, huh? You need to walk to your car? Thanks for the ride. You saved me a walk. Good night. Ah, fuck it, it's Monday. Come on to my place. No, I really shouldn't. Seriously, just for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> some change? Sorry, no cash on me. You've got an angel there. I know. Hey, before the movie, let's go to that pastry shop on 3rd Street and get some snacks to sneak in. You all right? I'm fine. It's nothing. Baby, what's the matter? I used to work at that pastry shop. One day, we were robbed, and the guy pointed a gun at me. Oh, my God. Oh, baby, come here. You're so wonderful. I just wish you would take off your sweater when we make love. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you cleared it out for all your stuff, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Eh, work's all right. How about you? Awful. I've got to get that job at that vegan bakery. I'll kill myself if I'm a computer programmer for the rest of my life. Be totally honest. That's delicious. Really? Oh, baby! <laughs> That's good, because I start work at the vegan bakery tomorrow morning. You got the job. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, baby. This is something you really want to do, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing? I want you to the bakery so that you're safe. It's 3.30 in the morning and you have work in a few hours. Yeah, and downtown is like a demilitarized zone. What are you doing? Applying for unemployment. A well, programming job, but you quit. I'm not earning enough at the vegan bakery, but they pay me under the table so I can get a little extra money this way. Amber, you shouldn't do that. Plus, you don't qualify for unemployment if you quit your job. So Ms. Wolf is appealing her denial of unemployment benefits. Both sides may present their cases. Uh, Your Honor, Ms. Wolf is just trying to scam unemployment and hurt me personally. I have ample evidence that she quit her computer programming position at my company by her own volition, including this post from her Twitter account that says, just quit my job today. So happy. My boss was so annoying. Okay, but I did tell you that Let's we just leave. You're not gonna believe it. The bakery's shutting down. I told Zoe they use sprinkles that use the stuff made from insect secretions, and she published it in her vegan newsletter. Everyone's in an uproar. You got the bakery shut down because of sprinkles? They're not vegan, Kyle. Hey, whatever. It's your rules. What are you gonna do for work? God, I don't know. What if I open a bakery for you? Are you kidding? I'll take out a $15,000 bank loan, plus I have $7,000 in credit cards, plus $3,000 in stocks I can sell, plus my savings. I'll be broke, but whatever. This is great. I've always wanted to start a business on my own anyway. What do you think? <coughs> uh, 
see you guys. Thanks for coming, Ed. Don't forget the grand opening party tonight. Here we go. We made it home. I can't believe I got so drunk. I never get drunk. Amber, I don't deserve you. I don't. First couple of weeks went well, huh? Yeah. And a Whole Foods down in Orange County even offered to carry some of my cupcakes. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, though. I just don't feel like driving all the way down there three times a week. What? You have to. Yeah. All right, I'm getting ready for bed. Mr. Andrews, can I talk to you about taking some vacation time? Take all the time you want. I just found out they're shutting our division down. Slow day. Yeah, people kind of stopped coming, huh? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Hello. I just got laid off. Oh, no. Hey, come work with me. Thanks, baby, but I can't. I have to find something myself. How's the job interview? I didn't get it. How's the job interview? Didn't get it. Yes? Nope. And my unemployment's about up. Not in the mood. Baby, we can't. But I really want a dog. Uh, let's just get a couple of cats. They're better in apartments. You got rid of your last dogs who were never home to walk them or take care of them. Well, you don't have to worry about that because you can't get a job. Oh, I'm pretty poor these days, guys. I'm so poor I don't take stuff to Goodwill. When I go to Goodwill, I'm getting it back. <laughs> Hi, guys. Nice set tonight, dude. See you next week, Hop. God damn it. I just got a parking ticket for $65. I literally don't have money to pay for it. I'm broke. Hey, come here. Sorry things have been rough lately. It'll get better, I promise. I love you, baby. God, why are you being so affectionate lately? People will be here soon. Guys, she is so not vegan. I hear she uses honey. And it took me a while, but I finally realized that honey is not cruelty free. Idiot. Excuse me? It took you a while because you're an idiot. Takes one to know one, Todd. What do you guys think? I got it the other day. Kyle doesn't like it. That's not true. It's super cute. What do you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so hungover at work tomorrow. I know. Work sucks. Ooh. Hey, what was that all about? Work sucks? Nothing. Amber? Kyle, I'm shutting down the bakery. What? Sorry. Amber, I invested a lot of money into your bakery. Money I can't get back. Why do you want to shut it down? It's just not working out. It's only been a few months. I just don't think it'll go anywhere. Of course it will. Just give it some time. I have to go back out. No, wait, Amber. 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 It's just too much work. I don't feel like doing it anymore. Drive safely, guys.
Come here. Come on, baby, give me a kiss. Baby. Baby. Amber, do you love me anymore? I love you, Kyle. But I'm not in love with you. I want to break up. I'm off to work. Hey. You know that Labrador puppy you wanted to adopt that you got that email about? Is it still in the kennel? I think so. Why? I was just hoping it wasn't put down. Oh. OK. Got to go. Ugh, Kyle turned off the heat. It's freezing here, like your bedroom. My bedroom is better. I know. I wish I was there now. Me too, baby. Thank God for Kyle's Friday night comedy show. Let's start a band called Fucking on Fridays. First song we write, Face Paster. I can't believe you ate all the cerezo and rubbed it in my face. You made me cry. I'll slap your face with my cock and really make you cry. Those would be tears of joy. Start a band called Fucking on Friday. <sighs> you know, I wish I was there now. Face with my cock. Kyle? Hi. Please take a seat. I'm Jennifer. So your intake file says you are going through a breakup. Yeah, a little bit. What happened? I was with my girlfriend for three years. Just before our anniversary, I found out she'd been cheating on me. I'm sorry. Had things been going badly? Not in my mind. I was blindsided. Your file says you specifically requested a female therapist. Why? Because lately I feel like I don't understand women at all. I was hoping you might let me in on some of your little secrets, like 
why you don't give a shit about ripping a guy's heart out. That's rather unfair. Therapy's all about one person, Kyle. You. We're gonna work to figure out who you are. Before I came here, I told myself I would be totally honest with you, and I will. And honestly, I'm here because I want to find out why Amber did what she did. Okay, then. Let's do that. How long ago did you find out she was cheating? Beginning of February. Four months. Why did you wait so long to come in? I was broke. Or maybe you thought you could try and figure it out on your own? Let me ask you this one question. Aside from figuring out why your girlfriend did what she did, what do you want to get out of therapy? I want just one thing. Make this pain go away. Welcome back, folks. In case you're just tuning in, today on The Love Seat, we have Amber. She's a computer programmer from Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. All right, Amber, what's your next question for these bachelors? Bachelor number one, what would you do to win my heart? First, I wouldn't think twice about cheating on my long-term girlfriend who loves me dearly because I just want to do the dirt nasty with you. Then I'd snake talk you into thinking your boyfriend is a dick and I'm your hero. Ooh, bachelor number one, I like you. What? Did you people hear what he just said? Bachelor number two, what would you do to win my heart? Uh, well, I'd love you and dedicate myself to you and work my ass off to try to give you everything you want. You know, what I've been doing for the last three years. Error. What is wrong with you people? Bachelor number three, what would you do to win my heart? Oh, come on, bachelor number three is literally a turd. <laughs> Ooh, bachelor number three, you're such a charmer. I like you, too. I don't believe this. All right, Amber, it's time to make a decision. Who's it gonna be? You gotta pick just one, Amber. Well, definitely not bachelor number two. Bachelor number one and bachelor number three are equally great. The clock is ticking. Mm, bachelor number one. Bachelor number one it is. Why am I even on this game show? I'm already her boyfriend. That is wonderful. <laughs> That's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week on The Dating Game. I hope you find who you're looking for. You have a vivid imagination. Quite a lot of spite, too. Yeah, it's a new thing, trying it on for size. How did you find out about the cheating? I spied. Oh. You'd have done the same thing. It's not about me. Oh, come on, you can take off the counselor hat for a second. We're here to talk about you. We're talking about Amber. Okay, it's your money. I never imagined she could do what she did. She was perfect. After I discovered those chats, I just walked around our home repeating the same thing over and over. I was trying to build a life for us. I was trying to build a life for us. I was trying to build a life for us. You really think my blowjobs are worth $50,000? You got me working freelance jobs just to keep up. You remember these chats vividly? Because I wrote down the most hurtful things they said. Why? So I could rub them in her face. Honest enough? Really, because I wanted to remember that pain. I didn't ever want to let another relationship get to this point. Will you search for a solid wooden wall before you bloody your hand against it? Why would you do that? Because I wanted it to hurt as much as possible. Hey, did you see those bands I emailed you? I do stand-up comedy as a hobby, and I run a show every Friday night. Amber pulled this shit while I was searching for bands to play at my show's anniversary, which is what she was texting me about. Yes, I'll check out those bands. But the band I'd really like to book is fucking on Fridays. Think you can pull some strings? What? You know what? I'm sorry. 
It just happened. Yes, these things just happened. No, you did what you needed to do, which was to drop me. I just can't believe we ended this way. What am I gonna do? I'm so fucking broke, I can't even afford to get away from you. Pretty clever way to let her know, huh? What was your childhood like, Kyle? What does that matter? Well, from the start, you've been very belligerent. Towards me and towards women in general. You have a lot of anger. My childhood was great. No divorce, dad made all my baseball games. Tell me about something recently that angers you. Something? How about a few things? No need to be cool. The day I found out, Amber and I just talked. There was so much we realized we'd never shared. Afterward, we shared everything. Did you tell your family? My mother knew what was going to happen. What? How's dad? He's good. He's smoking on the patio right now. Oh, also, Kyle says hi, Mom. Tell him hi, Beth. Hello, Mrs. Wolf. Oh! <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> oh, he's such a goof. OK, I'm going to take out the trash. <laughs> OK, he's gone. Amber, cheat on him. Have your little affair. Get this Todd guy out of your system. And then never tell Kyle for the rest of your lives. OK. What kind of mother says that about the guy who's trying to take care of her daughter? friends and she threw me to the wolves. Oh, then there's this little gem. Did you have sex with Todd without a condom? Yes. All right, I have to go to work. Don't worry, I got out clean. So I think Todd did have an STD or two. You must have been very scared. I was. Jesus, I don't know what came over, Amber. This was a side of her I'd never known. Or maybe I just missed it all along. I fucked your boyfriend, bitch. I'd hear her sneak out to go fuck Todd. After sticking it out on the couch for a couple weeks, I just couldn't take it. So I left. Thanks for letting me crash here, Bill. No problem, man. Stay as long as you need. How long till you think you get a new place? I don't know. Months. Oh. Stay as long as you need. about a month. Stellar month, too. God damn it! Friendly new rich neighbors called a tow truck on me. So you have a new apartment now? Not quite. Well, that's an improvement. Some friends are letting me stay in their backyard for 100 bucks a month until I can afford a new place. How soon will that be? No clue. Current job isn't exactly a bank buster. Amber knew I had no money because of the bakery. She knew that I was unemployed, that I had nothing because I sold it all off when I moved in. Amber knew all this stuff. So maybe you're starting to see why I'm kind of angry. Good night, baby. I love you. 
love you too. Don't forget to pick up some detergent after work tomorrow. And let's go to the beach this weekend, huh? Sounds good. Sleep tight, baby. Why do you kiss Amber's picture before you go to bed? I can't help it. it. Makes me feel like she's still there. I discovered the cheating a week before our anniversary. What I didn't tell you was that on our anniversary, I was going to propose. Needless to say, I spent that evening alone. That's where the picture thing started. Will you marry me, Amber? Yes. Sometimes I think if I had just proposed earlier when I first considered it, then none of this shit would have happened. Why didn't you? Couldn't afford a ring because of the bakery. Then I had an idea. I'd make the ring myself. So I planned the dinner where I would pop the question, which should have been a cakewalk. Obviously, I wasn't in on the secret. Hey, so for our anniversary, let's go to Florence Bistro. Chrissy's having her birthday party at the Medieval Castle that night. Tell her we're real sorry we have to miss. We should go. <laughs> Come on. It's her birthday party, Kyle. Yeah, and it's our anniversary, Amber. We need to go, Kyle. You hate Medieval Castle. They're cruel to animals. What time is everyone meeting there? 8.30. It's perfect. We'll get an early dinner at Florence. It's a long drive down there. I'm making a reservation for six. I don't want to be late. The drive will take less than an hour. Look, I'll map it. Listen, we'll celebrate some other time, OK? She knew what I was planning to do. Why? Because I told her. Hey, why are you upset? I feel like we're ending. What? We've had a few fights recently, but everyone does. Hey, I love you. I was going to ask you to marry me soon. That was the day after she first fucked him. <laughs> it's hilarious, right? Maybe it was for the best. I could barely pay for my own anniversary meal with my crappy job. Fun fact, I interviewed for that job the day after I found those chats. I had to write an essay about anything on my mind, so I said, fuck it, spilled my heart out. I guess they appreciated my honesty. Amber always said that I needed to open up more. After I got the job, she said I should have done the same with her. Do you think she deserved to stray? Is there any other way to see it? You told me last session that you found out about the cheating before Valentine's Day, but you still spent the holiday with Amber. We took a trip to Big Sur. A trip? We've been planning it for months, well before the breakup. Hey, let's still go to Big Sur. I'd like us to have a last hurrah. I would too, unless you're secretly planning to kill me and leave me in the woods. <laughs> no, I'm really gonna miss us. I'd like to finish it well. Me too. I mean that. I know. Just need to grab some socks. Hey, do you want to extend the trip this weekend and spend Valentine's Day with me in San Francisco? Absolutely. OK, great. I got her back. Ready to go? Yep, one sec. Amber, I love you, and I want to be with you always. Amber? Oh, God, Kyle, don't. I love you, Amber. Please don't. Please. Amber. Don't.
Can you not hold my hand? It makes me uncomfortable. why she extended the trip to San Francisco. She was doing an article for her friend Zoe's vegan newsletter about the restaurants we visited. Look, here I am, a road trip buddy. I did get one jab in on Valentine's Day before we left San Francisco. It was a good one. Hey, you wanna see the ring I made? Just for kicks? Okay. I didn't have any money, so the band is just made out of aluminum foil. The emerald's real. Found it when I was a kid. Been saving it for an engagement ring. It's very nice. I'm so stupid. I got her good, huh? Why did you show her? Because I wanted her to know what she missed out on. You can be very manipulative. Hey, Amber deserved to see that ring, all right? She's dodged shit her whole life. The way I spent her anniversary, that's fucking heartbreak. So why do you still want Amber back? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't want her back. God, I'm pathetic. No, you're not. Really? Amber's birthday was two months ago. I got her a pizza. Johnny's Pizza, how can I help you? Hi, my name's Kyle Brighton. I'm calling to see if you could deliver a pizza to Los Angeles. Sorry, bro, we're in Michigan. I know. I want to see if you could deliver a pizza here. Uh, what? If you could do this for me, I'd really appreciate it. It was her favorite childhood pizza. And you want me to make a vegan version, pack it in dry ice, and overnight it to you? Yes. Boy, you're crazy. Hi, do you work on the third floor with Amber Wolf? Yeah. OK, weird question, but could you give this pizza to her? Yep, weird question. I know. I, thank you. Hi. So what'd you think of the pizza? Well, it wasn't really hot enough, and it had some toppings I don't really like. But I gave most of it away to my friends, and they liked it. Listen, after the pizza, I think it'd be best if you didn't come to my birthday dinner. And please don't wish me happy birthday. Fine. OK. Sick. Hey, happy birthday. Thanks. Listen, I'm locked out of my apartment and my car keys are inside, and I'm already half an hour late to my birthday dinner. Where are you? I'm on a date with Barbara. Oh. Is that okay? I always thought she had a crush on you. You still have a key. Can you come let me in? Of course, I'll be right there. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I guess I can just take a cab. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. Thanks again. Bye. God damn it! God damn it! I 
should have let that dumb bitch miss her own goddamn party. Instead, she makes me leave my date. Makes you? Well, no, I chose to leave. And yes, she had no choice but to call me, but still, Amber knew what she was doing. Having me come see her all dolled up while I help her get to the party to which I was uninvited. I mean, how can people be this way and think this way? How could Amber think that she and Todd would ever be a good couple? They'd be so poisoned. I mean, how would they tell people they got together? Well, you see, when we got together, we were both in long-term relationships. Oh, yeah, my boyfriend adored me. He actually was gonna ask me to marry him. He even had the ring. Right, but a real piece of shit ring with some stupid emerald he'd been saving for the perfect girl. <laughs> what a loser, right? Anyway, we both started cheating on our significant others because we just didn't give a shit about their feelings. Yeah, we only thought of ourselves. And Mom, I couldn't have done this without your advice. I love you. Also, girls, your father and I were fucking each other without a condom and then bringing that shit back to bed with our significant others. And that's the story of how your mommy and I got together. Now you're just being mean. Hey, I gotta have some fun somehow. Why do you still want Amber back? I don't. She fucking hurt me. Part of you does. Yes. I still love her, and I don't want to see her fuck any other guys because I'm still territorial over her. I know one reason I want her to come back. Because I want her to beg for forgiveness. Cheaters are supposed to come crawling back, but she didn't. No remorse. She won. I lost. It's not about winning and losing. Really? Because I seem to be the one clear loser in all this mess. What about Todd's girlfriend? Isn't Zoe's place great? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, hey, there's Todd. He's another vegan I met just a few weeks ago. Hey, Amber. Hey, this is my boyfriend, Kyle. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, good, thanks. I'm Laura, Todd's girlfriend. Hi. Kyle, nice to meet you guys. You want a beer? Yes, please. Kyle, I saw one of your stand-up comedy videos online. Super funny. Really? How did you see that? Amber posted it on Facebook. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were all Facebook friends. Seriously, I laughed so hard. Thanks, it's just a hobby. You should make it more than a hobby. Hey, by the way, you two should come to my place on New Year's Eve. I'm going to be making food and buying wine for everyone. Yeah, it sounds great. Thank you so much. Amber, I love your hair. Thanks. I wish I could pull off that look. Oh, well, only in my dreams. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. I fucked your boyfriend, bitch. You're right. I completely forgot about Laura. That poor girl. You're not alone, Kyle. I know. But I still feel terrible. Did Amber end up with Todd? Well, there's a change of subject. Did she? I told Todd I love him. No way. What happened? On Sunday, Laura checked in at Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I saw that too. Well, I went over to Todd's apartment last night, and there was this big Victoria's Secret bag on his coffee table. I felt like shit. Did you fuck him? No, something else. Oh, man. And then you said it? Not quite. We cuddled. He was being all cute, kissing my face. And then I couldn't help it. What did he say? Nothing. He hugged me for a while, but he said nothing for an hour. And then I left. When we got to my car, he said, text me when you get home. So when I got back, I saw that he had tweeted, thank God it's Friday. So I texted him, I'm sorry your Thursday was so terrible. I'm home. Good night. And he hasn't spoken to me since. God, men are such assholes. She blew him. She said, I love you. He didn't say it back. He zipped up his pants, and he walked her out the door. How does that story make you feel? Ha <laughs> ha, bitch got used! I should do it. Thanks, Kyle. Okay, then.
This was just a couple of months ago. That sink never worked well. And even after the breakup, she still called you for help. And you went. Why do you still protect Amber? What? You blame yourself for what she did. You still look out for her like a boyfriend. Tell me, how many of your friends know that Amber cheated? Just a few. Three. Two of whom don't live in LA. That's why you're here, Kyle. Talking to me months after the fact. Because you never talk to anyone about it just to protect her. After I found out about Amber and Todd, I never even thought to tell Laura. Her relationship with Todd was none of my business. But mostly because I didn't want anyone to be mad at Amber. Least of all, her piece of shit vegan friend, Rona. Oh, hey, Kyle, this is Rona. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. We were just talking about that Todd guy you met at Zoe's party. So yeah, after Todd and I got dinner, we drove up to Mulholland and sat in my car for three hours just talking about restaurants and music and life. He totally wanted to kiss me. God, why is he with that Laura bitch? She's so stupid. Fuck her. He and her are meant for each other. Why can't I steal him away from her? Gotten better first impressions from sex offenders. So why is he still with Laura? He's only with her, not with me, because they've been together for so long and he's scared of change. God, she sucks. Why does she suck? What? Why do you think she's stupid? Because she is. She just sucks. Amber and Rona eventually had a falling out. I don't know what it was about, but I'm sure it was mutually idiotic. <laughs> When word got out about Amber and Todd, Rona had a field day. This just in, surprise, surprise, Amber Wolf is a horrible cunt. Now let's go to Rona with the weather. High humidity with 100% chance of bitch. I'm sorry for what you're going through, Laura. Some women are just evil. Thank you, Rona. And now let's go to Rona in the field. Watch out for your men, ladies. Amber Wolf is coming for them. Somebody had to say something to Rona, so I did, online where Rona was playing the righteous card like nobody's business. Kyle, come here, my son. My heart goes out to you. I always knew Amber was rotten. Let's not forget, Rona. You've been trying to steal Todd away from Laura since I first met you. You're just as bad. I thought defending Amber in front of everyone would bring her back. She even said she would defend me against Rona when Rona started going off on me. Of course, I read Amber's email to Rona. She didn't mention my name once. She didn't come back to me either. Did that really surprise you? Well, no, but still, I did everything I could to do what was right. I even tried to get Todd and Amber together. What? Laura's gone? OK, great. I'm headed over now, Todd. I can't talk to you when I sneak past Kyle, so stay on the line. Getting in the car now. Get ready, baby. I'm gonna fuck your brains out. Todd, just two things. One, fuck you. Two, you should be with Amber. Man, it kills me to root for you too, but you make her very happy and you provide for her what I couldn't. Also, I can tell you love Amber. She won't wait for you, fucked hard. So you gotta man up and sever your ties with Laura. Or, 
got to break it off with Amber now before you drag it out and hurt her too much. Because then I'll be really pissed, and next time I'll have to bring a gun to this gunfight. Hey, t -t Todd, he ain't even got no gun. Hey, what the hell is this guy doing? I don't know. Why did you say those things? Because I meant them. Hello? Kyle, Todd got your email. He was pretty insulted. <laughs> he's the cheating pile of shit, and he's insulted? Amazing, right? It's not your job to protect her anymore, Kyle. Amber's on her own now. That's the choice she made. It's time for you to start sticking up for yourself. What? What is it? Laura should know, out of fairness. She should know because that's what's fair. Amber was the one who told Laura. She did it anonymously about a month after I found out. She wanted Todd to be single so she could have a chance at him. Thanks for letting me get my mail. Can we talk? What? No one knows I told Laura, but Todd's still yelling at me and blaming me for Laura breaking up with him. I was up all night trying to get Todd to talk to me. Now I'm really afraid of losing him as a friend. Amber, is this all gonna be about Todd? Well, yes. I was looking into the eyes of a crazy person. She had become Rona. And then a funny thing happened. Amber, I literally don't give a shit. <laughs> and you're worried about losing Todd as a friend. Amazing. I was already having a terrible morning. Thanks for making it even worse. Have a nice life, asshole. <laughs> you should have heard what she said later. When you told me you literally don't give a shit, it was sexy. Oh, hi, I'm Amber. I've heard so much about you. Oh. I finally treat her like shit and that's sexy? <laughs> Jesus. You know how they say girls go for assholes? You know what happens? They end up with assholes. Good for you, Kyle. Really? Absolutely. You have a right to your feelings. You need to take care of yourself. Do what you want to do. So what do you want to do? Yeah, so I definitely canceled that date. <laughs> what a weirdo. What about you? What's your big dating story? Well, I guess my big one would be back in February, a week before I was going to propose to my girlfriend of three years, I found out she'd been cheating on me. Oh. Yeah. All right, folks, thanks for coming out. We've got a great show for you tonight featuring a bunch of up and coming. This was fun. I'll give Take you a Take care, Kyle. <laughs> well, you know, we all have that one relationship that we just can't get over. Yeah. <laughs> What's yours? Mm, it's not important. No, it's cool. OK. Uh, well, a few months ago, I was actually going to propose to my girlfriend of three years. And a week beforehand, I found out she'd been cheating on me. Oh, my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm, I'm over it. I'm sure you're over whatever yours is. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Way over it. His name was Mike. Uh, He's just this dumb guy that I dated for like four years. He was a firefighter and we had this really nice apartment together. And this adorable little dog. His name was Iron Man. <laughs> and then um then one day. One day he came home and he was like, I don't love you anymore. I'm moving out. And I <laughs> I was devastated. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Don't touch me! I gotta go. <laughs> she forgot her blanket. I wanna be honest on these dates, but anytime I tell my story, the date immediately goes downhill. You're using your story to get sympathy. 
Yeah, so what? That's not what I need right now. These dates were disasters. I'm going out with this really pretty girl this weekend. I'm really excited about it. You're a woman, you date. Just tell me what to do. Kyle, sit there, nod, smile, and shut the fuck up about it. Hi, Kyle. I'm Lacey. Nice to finally meet you. Hi. Yeah, likewise. You all right? Yeah, I just need to pick my jaw up off the ground. <sighs> Got it. Great joke. Yeah, online dating can be super weird. As if regular dating in LA wasn't weird enough already. I mean, you must have some real horror stories, right? Yeah, I do. But none worth mentioning. They never are. You know, I really shouldn't even be alone in a car with you right now. But you mostly pass the not a psychopath test in your messages. Mostly. We have some time to kill before the movie starts. Do you want to bum around for a little bit? Sure. Yeah, I bet we're going to squeeze in a few things. It was all right. Good. Dating. You know, Amber's sister Mary didn't like me much at first. I'd said that Amber and I should date other people. I was an idiot. But after about a year, Mary approached us on New Year's Eve. Kyle, you've been good to my sister, and you've taken care of her. I'm sorry for how I treated you at first. You're a good guy. That moment stuck. Her approval meant a lot to you. Mary was always no bullshit. Getting her approval after a rocky start meant something to me. Why was it rocky? Because of the way Amber and I met. During my last week of college, I met Stacy and we hit it off. Then I graduated and left for Los Angeles. Stacy was younger than I was and still in college on the East Coast. Once or twice a year, we'd see each other. Either she'd come to Los Angeles or I'd go to New York. We kept things open, which is why I started hooking up with Amber. A couple months later, Stacy came to visit Los Angeles. At that point, it was my longest relationship. I even started to think, hey, maybe I'm supposed to marry this girl. I was young and stupid. I didn't want to hurt either girl's feelings. And if I'm absolutely honest, I thought what I was doing was cool. So I hooked up with Stacy. But I looked into Stacy's eyes, I realized I loved Amber. I sent Stacy off, went to Amber, and asked her to be my girlfriend. You just made me very happy, Kyle. When I hooked up with Stacy, Amber and I were actually on some stupid break. So technically, it was all fair. But I'm just making excuses, I know. Amber found out about Stacy, and it was a sore spot between us for the first year. I held her and tried to make everything OK until finally it was. Kyle, you did the same thing as Todd. Well, it was different. Yes, but it was also the same. Fucking on Friday. I wish I was there now. Face with my cock. Well, at least I made a choice, and I chose Amber. You still hurt her. I always regretted how I first realized I loved Amber. 
beginning, I meant more to her than she did to me. And in the end, it was the other way around. But when we met in the middle, it was great. I love you. get out of the car, I step in some dog shit. <laughs> then I go to work, I clean off my shoes, I get coffee with Frank, and what happens? I step in some dog shit again. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, well, when I parked outside our place tonight, I stepped in some dog shit again. I love you so much. What'd I do? I just love you. <laughs> grown to love Amber, too, as a person. It was a small moments, like this one I remember. Amber was insecure about her breasts ever since she got some procedure done on them in high school. Boy, those things are weird, huh? She looks like she has the breast of a middle-aged mother of four. Amber wasn't unconscious, though. She remembered what he said for the rest of her life. Then one day, we finally made love with the lights on for the first time. I didn't know about the doctor incident at the time, but I sensed her insecurity. So I just looked her in the eyes the whole time, let her know everything was okay. She floored me. God, I'm so depressed, you can't even imagine. All right, we'll go in a second, guys. Let me see if Kyle wants to go. Yes, whatever you're doing, I'm in. Oh, all right. Great. That was my first Saturday night off in ages, and I realized I haven't had a weekend or a night off all year because of my job. Meanwhile, Amber's taking trips to Vegas, going to restaurants, hanging out with friends, having the time of her life. I haven't had fun all year. The only free time I have is when everyone else is at work, so I'm alone all the time. I can't spend any money because I make nothing. Hell, I almost cry every time I get a good cooked meal. Bakery debt is crushing me. You know, they say money doesn't buy happiness. Yeah, well, poverty doesn't buy it either. Kyle, things will get better. Oh, yeah? Will they? I know it would make things better. If we all, men and women alike, could realize one universal truth. Women are crazy. If we could all disagree on that one simple fact, then everything would be just fine. All you fucking women want is for a guy to tell you that you're pretty. And you'll go to the highest bidder, regardless of loyalty or history, or that one guy's worked his ass off to give you everything you fucking want. I can't even afford this session. <sighs> Sorry. Kyle. She speaks to me more openly of late. Our family's <laughs> That we've made. I'm scared. She told me he's been speaking of his life. His All right. So this year we're gonna fix up the apartment. We get better blackout curtains so that we can sleep in. I'm gonna try to mount a TV on the wall so we can watch movies in bed. We'll put the fuck chair over there. <laughs> what? The fuck chair? Oh yeah. That's what I call it in my mind. We'll get better blackout curtains, we'll mount a TV on the wall, and we'll put the fuck chair over there. <laughs> I got us reservations at Florence Beach Show tomorrow night. On me. I've been saving up. Never last that long. She talked about her sisters and her art. She spoke of baby Barbara and the problems with her heart. This weekend was really nice. She said she smoked in college. She said yeah, no, she was actually. But their entire conversation never mentioned him at all. I'm scared to leave her. I know each time I do my be for good. Listen, I'm sorry about our last meeting, but I've thought about it, and this therapy isn't doing me any good. I want to cancel it. Today, we're going to talk about you. Hey, I just told you I'm done. Anything you can think of about yourself, good and bad. Are you listening to me? You've avoided it since you started with me. Fine. 
Let's talk about me. Let's talk about the loser. Start wherever, but just share. Whatever sticks out in your mind. Okay. I can think of one bad thing about myself that drove Amber nuts. I was a germaphobe. She hated it. Hey, baby, I forgot my jacket. I hate to ask, but could you bring it to me? I'll be over in a second. Thank you. Thanks, baby. You're the best. Kyle, I drove all the way here. Fine, I'll take it back home. I'd always hidden it from people. I guess I should have hidden it from her, too. Keep going. What else can you think of? I already hate this. Then leave. Fine. I can remember the little hurts. The kinds of things that add up over time. I'm sure you tallied up a few. Amber loved freaks and geeks. At the end of the last episode, the main character has a choice. Go to an advanced college program or run off and be a groupie for the Grateful Dead. She chooses the dead. What was my response? <laughs> what a stupid bitch. I thought my response was funny. I see what it meant to her now. Amber was that girl, right down to passing up on college. What else, Kyle? Second to last time we had sex was one of the worst experiences of my life. I've been busy, but things had finally calmed down. I found myself wanting to talk to Amber. Baby, let's go to the bedroom. Jesus, Kyle. No, not for sex. I just want to talk. It's been a while. All I wanted was to lay with her. We held each other, and it was great. Then I kissed her. So we are having sex then. I promise I didn't come in here for that. All right. You've earned it. You've earned it. Those horrible words still echo in my ear. Now that I know what was going on at the time, they hurt even more. Was she right? Fuck you. Was she? Please? No. I don't want the last time we had sex to be that time you just flopped onto the bed. No, Kyle. How was that? Kyle, you always made me feel good physically. And if it makes you feel any better, Todd is really tiny. But what Todd gave me was passion. Oh, come on, Amber. I just felt that way because it was forbidden. Kyle, on a scale of one to 10, what just happened was a seven. She was right. I never romanced her. I felt passionate towards her, but I never showed it. Why? I don't know. You should have. Oh, give me a break. So I missed a few relationship bullet points. I was still great. She destroyed me, and I still think that we're soulmates. Even near the end, we had great moments, like nothing was wrong. She'd forget we were actually a great fucking couple. I'm sure you were. But you're not a couple anymore, are you? I really hate you. I bet you do. All right, let's see. 
Early in our relationship, Amber went to a police reunion concert with her ex-boyfriend. They both loved that band. They stayed together in a hotel room in San Francisco. When she came back, I didn't give any thought to the trip. Finally, she couldn't resist. So were you worried that I was staying in a hotel with Ian this weekend? Hmm. Oh. OK. She wanted me to be worried, and I completely wasn't. Why not? I knew she wasn't interested in him. I trusted her. I thought she was incapable of cheating. Ha. I guess I know the real reason. The other reasons weren't true? No, they were. What's the real reason? I didn't think she was worth cheating with. You think I'm terrible, don't you? Never. But why did you think that? It's horrible. We're talking about my deepest, darkest secret that I hid during my entire relationship with Amber. I never thought Amber was beautiful. In fact, I thought she was unattractive. Since I was a kid, I dreamt of having a wife that I found beautiful. We'd love each other, of course, but I wanted to tell some lucky girl every day for the rest of her life, you're beautiful. I grew to love Amber as a person, so I decided that my dark secret would be that I didn't think my wife was beautiful. Sometimes I'd remember that dream and think about being with someone else. But then I'd think the only way that would happen was if Amber died. It's horrible, right? So I'd bury that thought again. But then it began to haunt me in a different way. Amber started to ask. I could never lie to Amber. Do you think I'm beautiful? Yes. Or at least not very well. We both know I was lying. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that I lost her to a guy that would pull her into the corner of the farmer's market to tell her how beautiful she was. You didn't lose, Kyle. I know it's cliche, but one day you'll see that all of this was for the best. Yeah, no shit. I'm not seeing that right now. Right now it hurts like hell. Let's face it, Jennifer, I'm a loser. I know it, you know it. Oh, hell, would you date me? I told you I was done with this therapy stuff, and I wasn't kidding. Kyle. Sorry, I'm not perfect. I'm proud, I'm angry, and I need to work on those things. I chose to cash everything in, not her. I was insensitive, I wasn't romantic, I didn't think about her needs, but I didn't know. I thought everything I was doing was great. I made that one mistake in the beginning, and the whole time I was with her, I was trying to redeem myself. I worked so hard, I thought I would never get there. Not until the day I died. When it all came crashing down, I hurt myself for it. Repeatedly, as penance. Kyle, the fault for what Amber did is all hers. Remember that. The problems that led up to that point, you had a part in them. It's OK. Nobody's perfect. But you now have to realize that even you have things you need to work on. I can think of one. You have such hostility towards women. Because I worship them. I worshiped Amber. I came here to get rid of this pain, but I realize something now. That it will never go away? Yeah. You're right. But it will fade until you don't think about it much. Thanks, Jennifer, for listening to me bitch and moan. You're a good man, Kyle. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. You're flying home tomorrow night. Oh, and bring some nice clothes for dinner with the rest of the family. OK. Oh, and Kyle, I have something to ask you. You know that purse that I was having made for Amber? 
That one from that fabric she liked. Yeah? Well, it's finally finished, and I, I thought I might go ahead and send it to Amber. No note. I just put it in a box and send it, but I wanted to ask you first. I didn't know what you would think or how you'd feel, and I don't have any use for it. Mom, mom, mom. Yeah? Send it. Oh, okay, good. I will, then. Maybe I'll be naughty and dab it with a little meat, huh? <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Hey, Zoe. Have you hung out with Amber recently? It's been a while. I wanted to try to get our cat Butkus from her since I finally have money to fly him home to my parents. Could you help me get him? Kyle, Amber got rid of Butkus. What? Did she get rid of Madison, too? Nope, just Butkus, since you liked him. What'd she do with him? She ditched him in a shelter. Yeah, he's black and white, he's really friendly. Yeah, that sounds like him. He was dropped off without a name? How long ago? A month? I like it. I think I'll take it. Great, you'll be close to me. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from the Los Angeles Superior Court to inform Kyle Brighton of his court date with Amber Wolf on December 10th regarding a $9,000 claim she's filed against him. What? two families clamoring to adopt him. Paul's pastry is Paul speaking. Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm calling kind of a weird question. An ex-girlfriend of mine is taking legal action against me for a bakery we opened, and she's actually a former employee of yours who sued you. Amber and... Wolf? She set me up. Oh. OK, so Ms. Wolf claims Mr. Brighton owes her $9,000 for services on a bakery they co-founded. Both sides may present their cases. Mr. Brighton? Thank you. My relationship with Ms. Wolf did not end well. Moreover, Ms. Wolf has a history of dubious legal behavior that I've researched. For instance, a former employer claims that she faked a robbery at the pastry shop where she worked and then successfully sued him. I believe that Miss Wolf's claims against me are just another iteration in this history. So, is this the guy? Yeah, that's the guy. Boy, I can't believe you drove 80 miles down here and just in time, too. What a miracle, huh? I'll tell ya, I never seen somebody have to rescue the same animal twice. Yeah, it's kind of a long story. And I need to shut up about it already.
missed it. I'm so dumb. No. You're just in time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Kyle. Take care.